Hey, what's up guys? It's Scrawny3 here, back with another Grand Theft Auto Online video. And in this video, I just want to show how to get inside the Lawn Bank building in Grand Theft Auto Online. So real quick to start off, this building is located right here on the map in sort of northwestern Los Santos in Rockford Hills at this point of interest that I marked off. This is a bit of an older glitch, but it's still a fun one, and I thought I'd check it out and revisit it. So, again, over at this point of interest, we're just going to pull off in front of the building, and then pull off into this alley over to the side here, and then basically park alongside these hedges that are kind of descending down these um, curb-like stairs. And so we're kind of on the edge here, right along the hedge. And from here, we're just going to hop onto the car we have brought. And then kind of try and jump over this hedge here. To fall between the hedge and the building wall here. And it could help to have a another car, like an SUV or a truck, to pull off the street. But I find it can still work, even if it's like a supercar or sports car. But anyway, from this point... You're going to basically make your character ragdoll over, so if you can make yourself fall over somehow, it's probably easiest with the trusty up anatomizer, but definitely possible with like a pipe bomb, or if you jump off your car, you might be able to bounce off the wall and sort of ragdoll down too. But just to cut to the chase, I'm going to use the up anatomizer here and kind of point downwards to the ground here inside the hedge knock myself over a bit but ideally not knock myself out of the hedge like I just did so it can definitely take a try or two we're gonna give it another go here and then knock down and then sure enough when we we're getting back up we just kind of fling through the wall here and end up on the second level of this uh, lawn bank building on the inside so there you have it we're inside the lawn bank building here and as you can see you can kind of just walk around and check out the interior it's kind of a poorly um, designed interior these guys didn't really give much detail as to what they're selling in here aside from it being a bank but um, you can kind of walk through a lot of the uh, decorations here and stands you could normally interact with them guessing if it was fully like rendered but maybe easier to see in first person where we're walking around but and that's the second level up here and then you can jump on down to the first level when you're ready and this you can kind of see out the front doors where we were originally parked and seeing inside the building because now we're kind of looking out and again you can walk through any of these kind of uh, stalls and pillars here if you walk near the edge you'll kind of see that we're near the gray area so it's kind of like the dead zone and if you stand there or get too close to the edge, you may actually fall through into the void, like through the map, and either die or respawn on the surface. So you want to be careful for that, unless you're trying to do that on purpose. But um, you can also see outside as well, over here. But um, one thing to note as well, once you're in here, is that you can't actually shoot through this glass. It's bulletproof, so... You kind of, kind of a blessing and a curse. You can't shoot outside to enemies that are out there, but you also can't be shot at. But on the same note, you can use explosives. So if I fired an RPG against the glass and somebody's close by, it will hurt them on the other side and probably kill them. So that's good to note. But one handy trick too, I found, is that if you're against the wall, despite not being able to like aim and fire through normally you can still hit fire a sniper and hit through the air side as you can see I just hit that person there that unfortunate lady who's walking by but you can fire through and hit enemy people or just people that way or other players by hip firing a sniper you can see the bullet connecting in the air side but keep that in mind for a fun little trick but anyway that's pretty much it. That's how to get inside the Lombank building. As you can see here, we're just kind of roaming around. 
It's an old trick, but a fun one, I think. And aside from killing yourself, there is an actually pretty easy way of getting out when you're ready, which I'll show you right now. So you'll just want to walk up to right here, where you can see there's an ATM. It's kind of looking a little glitchy from the inside here. But just like normally, we can press the button to access the ATM. And sure enough, when we do, will appear right on the other side once we exit out. So that's how to get out pretty easily too. But that pretty much does it. That's how to get inside this Long Bank building in GTA 5 Online. Thanks for tuning in and let me know what you think in the comments below or if you learned anything that you didn't know how to do before. But thanks guys. Peace.